Hi, and welcome to Retro Eric. Today we're going to take a look at this uh, USB ISA card. As we can see, it's a 8-bit ISA card. And uh, the thing is that this card will give us a USB port on an old 8086 or newer. As we can see, it is a 8-bit slot. It has a USB A connector here. And uh, we have some jumpers. We can choose the IO address. The default is uh, 260. We also have a jumper here to enable the boot socket or the socket here. And this socket is used with a boot drum. We will try that. I bought this uh, for uh, $25, I think, on uh, AliExpress. So uh, let's uh, plug it in and see if it works. For this test, we will use my West PC 1600. This is a 286 machine, and it's super easy to uh, use for testing since we can open the lid just like on a trunk. So according to the manual, the only thing we uh, have to do is to install the device driver. It's called the CH375DOS.sys and it has a few parameters. The first parameter is the I.O. port. As we saw in the beginning of the video, uh, it was already set with a jumper to 260. So that is the default I.O. port. We can ourselves choose which interrupt to use. Is no jumper settings for that. We only set it here in the driver. And I've chosen interrupt seven. The last parameter, percent one, is actually the speed on the USB port. I've already tested this and I tried different settings. The default setting is uh, percent two, which is a bit slower than percent one, but not much. It's uh, maybe only two or three percent slower. You can set the, the percent as high as 255 and as low as zero. Okay, let's uh, boot it up. Notice that I'm using an XT IDE ROM BIOS in this machine. It's actually at the moment located on my network card. Here we can see it's loading the driver for the ISA USB card. It confirms that we're using IO port 260, interrupt seven, and the IO speed is one, and it has added the disk as E colon. C and D are already used on the compact flash card that I'm booting from. So E is correct. Now we're starting four doors and everything looks fine. And there we are. The USB ISA card is working. Wasn't that easy? Yes, it was. It was super easy. I did some uh, speed test, but um, let's uh, do one with the camera running. And as we can see, we cannot use check it to run our speed test. So we will do it the other way, just copy some files and measure the time. Okay, let's uh, copy planet X over from the USB drive. To the C drive. And we need to measure the time. So that was uh, 61 seconds on, um, let's see how much data. 
So that was 61 seconds on 566 kilobytes. And 566 kilobytes divided by 61 seconds is 9.25 kilobytes per second. Ah, I don't know, is that much? I think it's uh, what we should expect from a 8-bit ISA card. The speed is not the most important anyway for me. It's uh, to have the option to use a USB port when you need one. Wasn't that easy? Yes, it was. It was actually super easy. But I had some uh, trouble coming here. Uh, I didn't show you in the video, but at first it did not work. First, I tried this, a four gigabyte uh, flash drive. It did not work, even uh, when I formatted it as a two gigabyte FAT16 drive. I tried with lower, I tried with 32 megabytes FAT12 drive. I still could not get it to work. Then I tried uh, this uh, USB flash drive. It's a two gigabyte flash drive. And I formatted that as FAT16 and it worked perfectly. No problems at all. The same with this uh, card that you have already seen, 128 megabyte compact flash card. And also this four gigabyte compact flash card worked very good. It's one partition here that is two gigabyte FAT16 and it just worked as one should expect. So I don't know why uh, this didn't work, but um, if you have a trouble like this, just try with different uh, flash drives, compact flash drives, whatever you have lying around, and I'm sure at least one of them will work. So now we know how to make it work. But what about the uh, socket, the empty socket. Could we try with the uh, XT IDE bias there? Well, let's try it. I already have a XT IDE bias in this machine and I'm using an empty socket on my network card to boot from that bias. Let's try removing it from the network card and putting it on the USB ISA card. Okay, let's see. Uh, I almost took it the wrong way. That groove there has to align with that groove there. So that means it's upside down compared to the network card. According to the manual, we need to put a jumper here on these two pins to make it uh, boot from the ESA card. <laughs> Don't mind that uh, Semus arrow is just that one of my Floppy drives are not connected. No, it did not find the XT IDE BIOS. Okay, I've tried to remove the boot jumper, so let's try without it. No, that didn't work either. So to recap, we are now using the XT IDE card with a brand new ROM and we are flashing that as a XT IDE PC slash XT BIOS. Was successfully written. Let's uh, reboot. The XT IDE universal BIOS is found at CA00, just where we left it and is not able to boot, but that is a different issue, probably something to do with the master boot record, 
important thing is that we now have a fresh XT IDE BIOS. The newly flashed BIOS is uh, put back to the ISA USB card in the socket and it's not reading. At this stage I was stuck. So I started googling and I found this uh, site called uh, Tough Dev and this article about the same USB adapter card that I have been using. I urge you to check out this article if you want to learn how to boot from a USB device. This guy has tried different methods. Some of them are working and some don't, but he managed to get it working. Also, in this article, he is also referring to a Lotex ISA USB adapter. He says that the, our card is built on Lotex uh, ISA USB adapter. So you could also check out that webpage to learn more about this card. Maybe sometime in the future, Lotex will make an XD IDE BIOS that will work together with this ISA USB adapter. Well, that was not a total success, but not a complete failure either. We are able to um, use a compact flash card like this, and that works just fine. And we have a speed of approximately 10 kilobytes per second. We were not able to boot from the card, and that was no good. I tried with uh, different uh, XT IDE BIOSes and different settings, but um, it did not work either way. So I guess uh, that wraps it up for this video. I uh, hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. And uh, if you liked it or learned something, you should press subscribe.